Hi there, threes, fours, fives and sixes. This is your feedback video for week four. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the feedback that you gave me in relation to my PE lessons that I've been delivering so far. I really appreciate that. And from that feedback that you gave me, uh, it was pretty obvious that you all like doing smaller, shorter challenges rather than long ones. So I'll try and make more of those. You would like challenges to go from easiest to hardest during the lesson, and I can do that as well. You also would like challenges that don't involve so much making of equipment, but just finding objects in your house. So I'll try and make it easier for you to get objects around your house for equipment to use during the lessons as well. So thank you very much for that feedback. It's also pretty evident that you really enjoy doing fitness challenges, but usually for your warm up and not for the main part of your lesson. So from now on, what I'll try and do is create lessons with a, a fitness based warm up challenge and then some other uh, hand eye coordination and maybe some balancing activities and catching and throwing and other things like that to make up the, the major part of the lesson. Also, I just wanted to say thank you very much to the following people for sending me videos this week. I do miss seeing you because we can't be at school anymore. So I love it when I do get videos in, showing me how much you're enjoying the lessons. So from 34A and from 56C, thank you to Harper and Noah. Harper, that was a very smart move, bringing the towel closer when you folded it. And Noah, I liked how you thought creatively and unfolded the sock ball to reduce the bounce. Also, really great effort with the takeaway challenge. It was very competitive and it was very entertaining to watch and it was more entertaining than any game of football I've watched so far this year, so thanks for that. In 3-4-B, thank you to Toby. That was a fantastic effort with the plank bottle flip challenge. You showed good core strength and great fine motor skills, so well done, buddy. In 3-4-C, thank you, Regina. You had a great wide stance during the bottle flip challenge and that increased your core stability and even better thumbs up at the end. And you know how much I love thumbs up. I do them all the time. Uh, also in 3-4-C, thank you to Nate. I love seeing how excited you were when you successfully landed the bottle flip. You could really see the excitement and how happy you were on your face, which is great to see. In 3-4-D, thank you, Alexander Bateson. Top effort in all of the challenges you showed me. That was a smart move wearing the singlet when you attempted the ball out of the shirt challenge. Really good move, easier with bigger open holes under your arms. And also in 3-4-D, thank you to Gabby. You showed great resilience during the bounce takeaway challenge, and it would have been very difficult doing that bounce takeaway challenge on carpet, so top effort there. In 5-6-A, thank you to Ganyu. Your planes look like they were really well built, buddy, and I'm also very proud of how honest you were. I couldn't actually see the bottom half of the camera view and I couldn't see the target you were aiming for, but you were very honest about which plane shots made it into your basket and which ones missed. So good job there. You know how much I love honesty. Also in 5.6a, thank you to Mackenzie. You had a very nice strong plank, a straight flat back. Um, I could see you were getting tired, but you didn't give up until you completed the task. So well done. In 5.6c, thank you to Kiati. Well done, you demonstrated a really good core, strong core, and your excitement when comp completing your challenge was uh, great to see. And just remember your PE teacher when you make the Oz Open final one day and you get all those free tickets to hand out. Also, and uh, sorry, um, last but not least, we have Grace in 5.6D. Thank you very much. You never gave up with any of your challenges and your paper planes were built way better than mine and they looked much cooler than mine did. So everybody, that's your feedback video for this week. Um, I really do appreciate the comments that you give me and I hope that you really enjoy this week's lesson that I've created based around the things that you like to do and the things that you like to see. Okay, let's get into it. 